Hey guys, it's Michael Webkins, and I am here with episode 67 of Podkins, where we are going to meet the 10 finalists for our fourth ever Webkins Room Design Award. So I'm really excited, and I'm also excited to say that I am here with two special guests. It's Sally Webkins and Steve Webkins. Hey guys. Hey. Hello. So Sally, you were on our last episode where you went head to head against so Mandy. Well. You did really well. I mean, you only I lost by win. one point. <laughs> exactly. But uh, no, that was a fun episode. So if you haven't listened to it, already search for podkins episode 66 so you can hear that and steve how are you doing i'm doing great how are you guys doing great and are you excited to see the 10 finalists because you know this is one thing that i love so much to do in webkins is to take a look at players room designs yeah i mean uh, i love checking out to see what creative things people have come up with with the uh, items how they combine them and uh, maybe even get a little bit of inspiration for my own unboxing video uh, rooms that i create absolutely so i should tell everyone that steven and sally this is the first time that they're seeing seeing these 10 finalists. So I just want to get right to it and start us off right away because I know everybody is anticipating this. So here is our first finalist. It is a rain washed meadow and wow. this is by One Emerald One. Now I think this is a beautiful design. It's built in an indoor room with blue flooring and the flowers and forest tiles are just added. So you see some of that water come through to really make it look like a beautiful marsh. That's gorgeous. I'm I'm really impressed. I remember many, many years ago when, when and somebody used like tatami mats and that flooring to make the sort of indoor yes. water the yep. first time. Yeah, I think that was Hip Hop 10, actually, who was one of our first ever uh, award winners. And this was this is just wonderful because it's got a lot more texture. Like it's not the square boxes of the original one. This is this is interesting and curved and really well done. It's hard to appreciate until you try to do it yourself of how difficult it is to kind of use multiple items in these garden settings and forest settings to kind of place everything in such a way that that it doesn't just look all clumpy or random or right. whatever. It's really, really difficult, but uh, you're actually accomplishing here with the uh, layering of the flowers and multiple uses and turning things a certain way and organizing it in, in a way that it looks like uh, organic, but not yeah. uh, mechanical. Really organic, really natural. You can be sure that One Emerald One took some time and thought into the position of each item there. And I should mention, some of those flowers are available in the W shop, but there's those roses that are scattered throughout. Those are from our spring cell celebration event. And of course, there's those little bunny plushes, which are peeking their heads up through the flowers. And that was from the spring celebration too. Great job, One Emerald One. Congratulations on becoming a finalist and good luck. Let's move on. Here is Monet's Garden. And this is by Kate. Now, Monet, Sally, was, of course, a famous painter who loved to paint flowers in his garden, and they've recreated it here. What do you think of this room? Oh, it's also very, very pretty, and it also has that sort of organic feel to it. I just love how we've gone to so many curves in Webkin's world. Right. It does definitely have an organic feel to it, but it seems a little bit uh, more organized than the meadow, but that well, makes sense sure, because it's the garden. garden. Exactly. Yeah. So really, the idea really came through here, and I just love that Kate is basing it off of uh, Monet garden. Yeah, and uh, I always love adding a certain amount of space into a room by adding pathways and things that sure where your pet can walk through and uh, it really helps to kind of organize everything nicely. Absolutely. And I love that uh, arch there for the gate that acts as one of the doors. I believe that's an e-store item, but uh, really pretty, really great job, Kate. Congratulations to you two. Let's move on here. This is a Webkin's office and this was created by Nancy. Sally, does this resemble our studio at all? A little bit. <laughs> Although I don't think the snack machines are that close to us. Right. I, but that's a good point. They have a little break room or lunch room in the uh, left corner there. A little, I think that's a first aid, yeah, room, first aid room in the south. Yeah. Where's the napping room? Yeah, exactly. I also noticed there's a little uh, workout area there, which I think we could probably use uh, yeah. here. That's true. Yeah, get some exercise at work. But I love those uh, medals that are displayed on the wall. So maybe that, you know, this office has uh, won some awards. And there, of course, is the pet looking out the window there for inspiration. So really well done, Nancy. Really cool. Love it. So let's continue on here. This is a Canyon campground, and this was sent in by Annie the Rat. Now, we've seen a lot of camping settings before, but what really struck me about this one was, well, this was built in an indoor room and they're actually using, I forget the specific name for it, but it's like the space wallpaper that's available in the W shop. So really in the background, that's supposed to be a moon setting and stars. But here in this camping setting, it really looks like the edge of a rock cliff and maybe um, this a campground on top of a, a rock or a canyon. So I thought it was really creative. Yeah, again, it's uh, it's always that combination that you don't expect that always surprises you and really creates new possibilities in room design. Absolutely. 
absolutely. And the flooring there is just, I believe, a yellow flooring, but it looks like a sandy sort of uh, flooring that you would find in a canyon. And I think, um, Sally, they've added some of those Campkins path tiles or some sort of path tile scattered throughout. So it looks like little bits of grass are growing through the sand. So I thought yeah, that was really well really done. Neat. Yeah. And of course, I love that pond that's in the south corner. That's one of my favorite items. Um, it was originally available in the east door, but now actually, if you complete your Camp Kins challenges, all your challenges are listed along the side of your room, you will be able to win that one for yourself. So great job, Annie the Rat. Really creative. Congratulations. Let's move on. Look at this one. It's really cool. It's a Webkins farm, and this was sent in by Megan. Now, this looks like an apple orchard. I know that big red barn there is an e-store item, but look at that. They've used some of the tulips here from the spring event to really bring in some color here as well. And Stephen, I believe that ladder was a prize that we recently added to Jumbleberry Fields, correct? And I think it works well here. Yeah, it looks, uh, it's fantastic prize, perfect for apple picking and for uh, getting your webkins into those high up, hard to reach places. Absolutely. Michael, I have a question. Yeah. I'm seeing this little plush bunny in a lot of these designs. Was that influencing you in any way? I see the little oh. plush bunny in all of them. Almost all of them <laughs> had them so That's far. true. You know what? I actually didn't even notice that one here. No, no. I mean, I, I'm not basing the design on any specific item. I just really like the creativity of these as a whole, but good point, Sally. <laughs> but it just goes to show how those items are really versatile and how you can use them in a lot of ways just like those tulips and stuff but really cool look at the flooring there it's got the tractors and of course they've used road trip tiles i think from webkins news to make give it uh, a look that the tractors have been going there and it's worn down the road a little bit but really beautiful beautiful orchard and those apples on that tree look delicious so great job megan and congratulations let's continue on here i thought this one was really cool it really told a story this is from dr Tolly, and it's a washed out road now if you can see here, DR Tolly has lined up some of those spree tiles, but added the creepy creek tiles that we first released last Halloween to make it look like maybe a river broke or there's a little bit of flooding. And uh oh, there's a backup of traffic there. And there is nuts and bolts <laughs> with the bulldozer getting ready to fix the road. The nuts and bolts plushies, I should mention, are available from the spree mall when you get to the mall at the end of the game. So what do you guys think about this one? Oh, the ones that are just having a picnic while this is all going on is quite funny. Yeah, there's a lot of things, a lot of things. Maybe they abandoned their cars and just gave up and going to have a picnic for a while. But it's really interesting, all the different like layers of little stories going on here, like that little uh, train track there with the little toy train on it. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, it's always so much fun when people uh, create these little vignette stories uh, out of the rooms. It's uh, a lot of fun. Absolutely. So great job, D.R. Tolly, and good luck. Let's move on. Here we actually see that space wallpaper in Apple Blossom Rose's design, and the design is Mars. It's a planet. Now, I thought it was really, really creative because there's a lot of different items that were used here, like those uh, caves that were from our Freaky Forest theme that we released last year. And we've got some special floor tiles that we gave away during a promotion. And there's a lot of different interesting looking vehicles that you would definitely find in a space room. I haven't seen anything like this one before. Four, but what a great job. It's got a, a great sort of B-movie space, uh, space movie type feel. Right. Yeah, totally. Yeah, and, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of uh, science fiction, but uh, you always kind of forget over time, like, uh, the little bits that we put into the game here, and uh, it's nice to see them all kind of collected together and, and used as kind of a, a sort of theme in its own way. Absolutely, and actually, I just noticed that if you'll see a little floating UFO and what looks like an alien sitting in the UFO, but actually that alien mask was a costume that we released in a previous Halloween, but it looks perfect here. So um, once again, all the items are perfectly placed and the pets are perfectly dressed in order to make up this beautiful Mars scene. So great job, Apple Blossom Rose. Let's move on here. Now this one has a very tranquil, calming feel to it. We have seen a lot of hospital rooms before, but we haven't seen it in a hospital garden. And this one was sent in by Webkin's Queen ruler. It's got a bunny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. It's got a bunny as well. And um, But actually, just behind that bunny is a little forest that they've set up. But I really like the position of that because if you look in the background, the trees are continued in the design. So it really gives it depth and nice feeling. And Stephen, there's that statue. Where is that one from? Uh, that's um, the Dr. Quack uh, retirement uh, statue, the the large version, which actually comes as one of the uh, family score prizes, right. one of the milestone yeah. prizes. I'm not sure which exact milestone, but uh, it's one of the ones, if you look through, you can see how many um, family score points you need in order to get that. 
That's right. So when he originally retired, we gave away an item that you could add to your Kinsville map, and this you can get through the Family Score prizes. It's a great item. I love how big it is, and I, I love that it really honors Dr. Quack, and it just works so perfectly in this hospital garden. And look at that. There's the Creepy Creek, again, separating the rest of the room from the forest. Again, that one, just like the bunny, Sally, we see that one used a lot too because- I, it, I think we need some more rivers. Yeah, absolutely. We do. We actually gave one away. I think you get them through the white chocolate eggs during our spring celebration event. I think um, it's one of our most popular items. So great job, Webkin's Queen Ruler. And congratulations to you too. We only have two more to go. And this one I thought was really creative. It's a bumper car track. And this was sent in by Angela. Now that wallpaper we gave away a while ago, It was um, it's a soccer arena wallpaper, I believe, that we gave away through a past promotion. And there's those bumper cars on that track and those are exclusive items but the track itself was made from spree tiles so tiles that you could get when you complete your shopping bag collection in spree but really nicely organized right Stephen? there aren't a lot of items used here but it just everything seems to work perfectly together yeah and i really like those uh white chairs along the uh, outer edge there because uh, I'm, I'm not sure where those ones are from but they make uh, fantastic kind of spectator seats yeah those are webkin's news prizes they're the scrambled egg chairs right ah, okay yeah, and I mean, they do look almost like racing car chairs or something, so it really works well in this arena. But the thing that's really cool, too, is those flags or banners that are hanging around on the wallpaper, it really ties all the colors together because there's a lot of yellows and reds in them, and so it really brings out the colors of the track. And I, I should say I love that little uh, bumper car that's out of commission there in <laughs> the right corner. Really, really cute. Really great job, Angela. Let's move on. This is a trip to Stonehenge room, and this was sent in by Joy. Now, of course, a lot of the items here, like those stone structures, we gave away during our marshmallow event in July, but I thought this one was really beautiful. I thought it was appropriate that they uh, use the road trip vans to go on a road trip right. to see Stonehenge. Right. Yeah. The vans you could actually get when we had a road trip, they were exclusive to the road trip. So if you went and visited the trip, you would get a card to unlock one of those on your account. And Steve, those trees, I believe, were from Amazing Hamsters, and they actually work perfectly here because I think they're typically a little shorter than our regular trees, so it really makes the stones of Stonehenge look larger. Yeah, that's fantastic. Again, uh, using elements that you wouldn't normally think go together and creating something completely uh, unique from them, it's uh, great. Absolutely, and I should mention as well that even though the stones aren't set out in a perfect circle, they've used the Campkins trail tiles there in the center to create a perfect circle, so it really adds to the illusion and reinforces that this is Stonehenge in a circular design or uh, layout. Great job, Joy. Great job, everybody who made it to the finals here for our fourth ever Webkin's Room Design Awards. Of course, you can vote for your favorite design from September 2nd to September 9th, ending at noon. And I should say that the winner of that vote is going to get a Webkin's Room Design Award. The creative team here are going to choose their favorite design, and that player is also going to get an award. And I'm going to choose my favorite design, and that player is going to get an award too. So out of the 10 designs that you just saw, there's going to be three winners. Good luck to everybody. And I should say we're going to continue on with those room design posts and videos. So please send me your room designs. You can send them to me at let's build at gans.com. Sally Steven, thank you so much for joining me. Do you guys have a favorite so far? Or are you going to keep it to yourself at this point? Oh, something with a bunny in it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So great guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Sally Steven, thank you everybody for listening and don't forget to vote. Bye. 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 Bye.